let's talk a little bit about the grid and how it works in Blender. It's a little bit different than the way how Alias works. You can find the information for your grid inside the property panel under display and then there you could hide for example the grid and hide or show the inside the three view the axis locators. Then we have lines and lines actually means how many lines the grid has. So it's not necessarily kind of like a, a subdivision, it's just the size I would say. Then we have a scale. See that this basically scales up my grid a little bit. And then we have something called subdivisions. And if I do something with subdivisions, you don't really see anything happening. But what subdivisions means is when I start zooming in, you see that every time a cube is being subdivided into a smaller grid. And that is actually, when I zoom in or zoom out, what subdivision means. So let's say I put this one to one. Now you see nothing. And if I start zooming in, you see at this point now the grid is being subdivided. If I type in 2, you see the grid. And if I zoom in more at one point, you start seeing that those grids are being subdivided again. Falling into smaller parts. So. The subdivision basically means the, the fineness and, and the different steps. This, for example, can be very useful also when you work with units. Currently, for example, inside transform, you see just under scale a one and dimension just a two. But we can apply Vault unit systems to it. To do this, you could go to the property panel so for properties and then go to click on the scene button. I think at the beginning you will have the camera. So click on the scene button, click on to units. And then there you have metric and imperial. Now if I click on metric, for example, you see now that my object has a dimension of two meters by two meters by two meters and is located along the X, Y, and Z at zero meters. You also see that my grid now under the top orthographic view tells me that I am inside a 10 centimeter view. So that means that those cubes, the subdivisions are each 10 centimeters. If I, for example, zoom out, now one cube is actually one meter. You see my in my dimensions my object has a two by two by two meters proportion and you see it's two grid cubes wide long and tall which means of course each time we are inside the meter view one cube has a one by one dimension. If I zoom in out more no one cube is for example representing 10 meters. If I zoom out more, one cube is representing 100 meters. So that's actually a pretty pretty nice way to fluidly change or switch between finer unit subdivisions by just zooming in and zooming out. For example, right now each small cube is one centimeter. Now each cube is one millimeter. So for example, if you would like to model something and you really zoomed in by the grid, you can also guess in case I would build, let's say, a fillet in here. The fillet would have like a two millimeter area I would cover. Now you could also click on Imperial. Then, of course, you would see everything in Imperial view. For example, feet, yards. If I zoom in more. Then we also have inches. And again, uh, you see inside dimension, for example, now it switches between metric to imperial. Uh, if I separate the units, you see that the units then are separated. So that's actually 
a really nice feature in Blender that based on your zoom level, it swaps between the different yeah, units of divisions.